Hey guys, I'm John Carlo. We're going to play some guitar today. <laughs> Today, I'm going to play you guys some of Symphony of Destruction off of Megadeth's Countdown to Extinction album. Um, Megadeth and Marty Friedman, their lead guitarist at the time, has uh, they've influenced me as a guitar player for as long as I can remember and opened up my musical taste, I guess, to more bands, other metal bands, and uh, maybe it'll do the same for you guys. That one's a burner. Um, you can tell Marty Friedman plays guitar very uniquely in uh, that solo compared to other mainstream rock or heavy metal solos. There's a lot of weird bending and stuff like that, and I really dig it. It's inspired me and influenced my playing like a ton, I gotta say. A lot of that solo, the song is in the key of E minor the entire way through, and a lot of it falls around your pentatonic, <laughs> pentatonic scale. So, uh, at the end, or more the blue scale. That all falls in your blues box. From your 12th fret. So it's pretty accessible. Like, you know, everyone knows this if you play guitar, kind of. Um, but to play it like that, that's kind of fucking tricky. <laughs> Something along those lines. Marty Friedman joined Megadeth in 1990, uh, right before their release of Rust in Peace, um, which is, I think Rolling Stone listed it about the halfway mark out of the top 100 most influential albums of all time, so that's not a small feat. Um, his style of playing is very unique, like the way he picks and some of the scales he uses. He uses a lot of uh, Japanese uh, sounding scales, like the Hirajoshi. <laughs> So you get like weird sounds that come out of that, but then with those sounds being applied to metal, it gives it much more of a unique twist than your traditional just ripping pentatonic licks and stuff like that. And I would always kind of gravitated to that sort of playing. So Symphony of Destruction, the way the riffs and like the way the song is played, um, it's definitely one of the more accessible Megadeth songs. Uh, the main riff... <laughs> Pretty easy. It's on your first fret of the low E. Um, this song is even a song that Dave Mustaine, the frontman and writer of the song, would recommend to someone who's just picking up a guitar. And uh, the song's killer. So <laughs> you can you can make a lot with a couple notes. Less is more sometimes. So with that solo, uh, Countdown to Extinction, that whole album um, was definitely a more of a mainstream step for Megadeth, I'd say. Um, compared to their previous album, Rust in Peace, that, that's very technical. Countdown to Extinction, while still being technical, they stepped it down a little bit, I want to say, as far as technicality. But still, the writing and the phrasing is all there. And, you know, with a solo like that, Marty Friedman exhibits that not only can he fucking outplay anyone on guitar, pretty much, that uh, a song like that will still hit the rock radio. And you'll, you might hear that while you're driving down the fucking highway. So. You know, that's what, I can't, can't say much more than that. That's why I dig it. If there's any other musicians or guitarists that you would like to see on here that I'd break down or play, uh, just let us know. All right, once again, I'm John Carlo. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you next time.